So here's our dough in the morning after it's risen, and I'm just gonna stir it a little bit and beat it down. You know what? I can get the foam there, then we can do uh, Yeah. So it rose up pretty nice. Okay. And we're back. So I have already cracked two eggs, which is part of the recipe. Uh, four tablespoons of oil and half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, which I'm going to put in last because when I made it last time, it overflowed everything and we had a disaster and I don't want to do that because I'm pretty sure the dog ate everything. And the dog did too. <laughs> Gooch, pay attention. You might get a chance to eat something. All right. So it's kind of looking interesting in there. You just want to mix it around so it gets evenly spread. Um, what happened to me the last time is I didn't do that, so I had a whole bunch that were mostly eggs and a whole bunch that were mostly meat. But these things happen, so we know it all ends up in the same place, and that's okay. So adding the salt and the baking soda, um, start to see it react here. As it goes, it should start to go pretty rising up. Yeah, there we go. Let's see things moving and bubbling. Wow, it's like watching a volcano in no way whatsoever. Um, all right, so we'll pause now for a second. We're back. Okay, so we have our oil in the pan. We have our nice dough is rising a lot. We have gooch in the way. And we're gonna take about a half cup of batter and stick it in. And uh, my experience has been in this size pan, you can usually get three reasonably sized pancakes. Gooch, these are not for you. If you're super lucky, you may get one that falls on the floor, but don't count on that yet. Uh, and I just try and level it out a little bit so we can get even cooking. And then what we want to do is keep cooking until the pancake is going to bubble. And uh, that'll take a couple seconds. So in the meantime, uh, and not for you. Uh, we can check out my awesome tights because they're super cool and so many people asked about them. Uh, Deborah Williams, thank you for the trade. Uh, on this side, we have a Cyborg Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, on this side, we have a Unicorn. And check it out, there's rainbows, but I just noticed there's all these cool like lightning strikes in here too. Isn't that awesome? They're pretty awesome. Um, and the mountain pup, that's where I got my t-shirt. It's such a cool color. Uh, if I weren't the world's pastiest person right now, it would be showing off my tan. But um, currently on the PN wet, it's uh, gloomy outside. And um, yeah, that's uh, kind of not good for working on your tan. But um, summertime's coming soon, so we're very excited for that. Um, if you can please send us your best wishes of sunshine, would appreciate that. Right, Gooch? Right, great. Okay, um, pancakes in the wild. I had promised to add some stuff in here, and um, yeah, we are so on fire this morning. Uh, our special edition is the coconut oil that we're cooking them in because I forgot the blueberries and the raspberries, the banana slices, the chocolate chips. Uh, I guess you could put carob chips in there, uh, nuts, seeds, raisins. There's a lot of things you could put in. I just totally spaced that out. Uh, I did remember my coffee, so very happy for that. Make sure I don't step on the dog or the moose. Um, so we've got, these are starting to work pretty good. We've got a couple bubbles coming out on these ones. This big dude here that just farted is uh, the first one to go in. So, ooh, that looks really good. This was way better than the last ones I did. Um, that one kind of got screwed up. 
Uh, these look fantastic, and uh, it's hard to say, but I mean, that pancake is about as thick. That's about an inch. So these are whole wheat. Uh, the only flour in this is whole wheat. I make a starter with whole wheat flour, 100% whole wheat flour, and I use 100% whole wheat flour in the recipe, so it all rolls off like crazy. So you get some really thick, uh, really dense, healthy pancakes. With this, um, again, you can use white flour, whole wheat, mixed flours. Uh, I would imagine gluten-free works the same in this. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I don't see any reason why it wouldn't. Um, and they are really good. Yeah, and there's no sugar in this either. We have a one and three quarter cups of sourdough starter, one and a quarter cups of wheat flour, half a teaspoon of sea salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, two eggs. Uh, if you're vegan, you could substitute bananas or the flax seed and um, water, little goopy thing that you stir around. Um, we also have four tablespoons of oil and then a little bit more oil to cook them in. So, pretty easy, straightforward. And yeah, you can top them with whatever you like. Um, yeah, pretty standard pancake toppings. Uh, wow. And these have risen even more. Yeah, we're now about an inch thick. So these are fantastic. I hope that yours turn out like this. Um, and I'm pretty sure that because I put these tights on, they're coming out better because they're so awesome. Um, and when you're cooking, have fun with it. Because, yeah, as you saw, it is a dreary day. Droopy dog is not so happy, but, you know, make the best of it. And if you have someone else's dog lying here helping you, that's pretty good, too. Or your own dog. Right? Okay? Yeah, you'll have to wait another, like, three and a half minutes, and then we can scratch you some more. Uh, yeah, uh, these ones look fantastic. 